download and start Dr. Racket, and we're going to work in the definitions pane. So type Control E to use the entire pane. And make sure that the language you're in is Racket itself, and that this is indeed the language specified in source. We're going to define a few functions for saving for later use. The first function we define is called mod. Takes three numbers. X, Y, and Z are the values that we name the three numbers. And what we do is we take the remainder of whatever X and Y refer to with respect to Z. Let's see how that works. Click F5 to read in the definition, and then try multmod 345. What's that going to do? Well, if I highlight the body of the function, it'll take the remainder of 3 times 4 after dividing by 5. That's 2. Click Control D, and we'll see what we can do with a list of numbers. So we'll take the list of numbers in the range 1 through 9, bounded by 10. See what that list looks like. It's simply tick parenthesized list of numbers. Now I'm going to rearrange that list of numbers. I'm going to define a name for that rearranged list as scrambled 1 to 9. And what I'll do is I'll use multmod to multiply each number in the list. I'll name each number i. In turn, multiply the number by 7, take the remainder after dividing by 10. Because 7 and 10 have no factors in common, this gives me a permutation. No repeats and no omissions. Notice that 1 in the scrambled list is where 3 was in the old list. That's important. That means that 7 times 3, remainder after dividing by 10, is 1. So that multiplying by 3 is going to have the effect of multiplying a list that's been scrambled with 7 by 1. In fact, unscrambling it. So here's how we unscramble. We define a new thing called unscramble 1 to 9 and name each number in the scrambled list i and now we're going to multiply those numbers by 3 and take the remainder modulo 10. And we've recovered our old list again. So this gives us an idea for scrambling and unscrambling the numbers from 0 through 255. We first are going to shift them up to 1 through 256, multiply by something that has no factors in common with 257, and then do the same trick. Take the remainder modulo 257. So it's complicated. We're going to first shift up, add 1, take the multiplication by this number C, which we'll choose later, modulo 257, and then subtract 1. It's complicated. We read it in with F5 and then see how it works on a list. So we'll define a scrambled version of the numbers from 0 through 255. Here's how we create that list. Use for list again. Use the name i applied to in range, well, 256 will give us the numbers from 0 through 255. Now we use our new function, which was called obscure intensity, because we're going to use it later on color intensities. The number is going to be i, and 31 is a number that has no factors in common with 257. So let's look at this scrambled list now. A long list. 256 numbers in it, and there they all are in scrambled order. And if I wander up this list, I'll notice that the number 0 occurs, if I counted carefully, at position 199. That tells me that 199 behaves in a way similar to the way 3 did in our smaller example. I can multiply by 199 to recover my unscrambled list. So I'm going to define unscrambled, bind i to every number in the list of scrambled 0 through 255. And now instead of multiplying by 31, I'm going to multiply by 199. See how that works?
got the numbers back in order again. And that's probably enough work for today, except for one more thing. Let's make these functions available for other pieces of Racket code to access. So I put in a provide statement for multi-mod and obscure intensity. Click F5. All seems to go well. So now I can go and save this. So I'll go to Save As under the File menu, name it Obscure.RKT. Oops, there's a file with that name already, but I like this one better.